All right, boys and girls, it's me, Miss Stark, fifth grade teacher from Sally Umbo Elementary School. Today, we're going to be diving back into our anchor text. Yes, you have it, the Birch Bark House. We learned about Omakaias and her family, and we talked about how she liked to get out of chores. Today, we're gonna dive a little deeper into our text and find out just more about this wonderful Ojibwe family. Are you ready? Great, it's time to learn. All right, so last time we got a chance to interpret figurative language in our text and begin to fill in our season's organizer. Today, we're going to read chapter two of The Birch Bark House by Louise Edridge, and we're gonna analyze the interactions between Omakaias and other characters in the text. So in chapter one, they were introduced, but in chapter two, she's now gonna have a little more interaction. So let's see how she behaves with the rest of the characters. All right, again, you're gonna need your reading log, your season's graphic organizer, your vocabulary chart, and a copy of the book, The Birch Bark House. All right, so what I would like for us to do is to go ahead and read pages 19 through 24 of The Birch Bark House. Um, and I want to see as we read, what kind of relationship do we see that Omakaius develops with Old Tallow? All right, that was a great reading, boys and girls. So what we see here is that Old Tallow and Omakaius actually have a great relationship. Um, Omakaius is a little different from the other children um, in Old Tallow's eyes. In the text, we saw that she treats her a little differently, okay? Okay, boys and girls, so now we're gonna do a lesson activity after we have just read pages 19 through 24 to describe Omakaius and Old Tello's relationship, okay? Let's look at our sentence stem here. Omakaius and Old Tello have a good relationship because, okay? So we wanna tell why they have a good relationship. And then we not only wanna tell, we also wanna give text evidence to support our claim. Because at this point, Ms. Starr expects you to be finding that text evidence to back up your thoughts on your details, okay? So I'm gonna give you just a moment and think about it. Because, great, you did a great job. You know that Omakaius and Otello have a good relationship because Otello is kind to her, okay? Let's look at our text evidence. In the text it states, comma, quotation, I always use quotations, she treated her someone differently than the other children, dot, dot, dot. She didn't scream at her because you know the character Old Tallow is not to be played with. She is very strong, she's tough, and she's a ferocious lady, okay? Now let's put our thinking cap on and think about our TWR and think how the relationship could change. So when we use our but, remember we say but, we're changing direction, okay? Omakaius and Otello have a good relationship, comma, but. Always remember to put your comma there, okay? So think to yourself, but. And I'm gonna help you out on this one. If we know she's real tough, then we know Omakaius and Otello have a good relationship, but let's say she knows not to disrespect her. And then we have our period down there, period, boop. All right, so we know that. Now let's find a way to give some text evidence. She knows not to play with her, sort of like sometimes with our grandmothers. We know which grandmother or aunt not to be played with, okay? We know when they say to clean our rooms or to do something that they mean business. So that's the same way that we can think of old Taylor. She's not her grandmother, but she's a real, real tough lady, okay? So our anticipated response says, old Omakaius and Otello have a good relationship, but Omakaius knows not to be disrespectful to the tough lady. In the text, it states, Otello could bring down a bear with her pack of dogs, okay? And you know, think about in our text here, when the yellow dog even uh, was growling at Omakaius as she went to Otello's house to get the scissors, um, Otello's not even afraid of that strong yellow dog. She says, didn't I tell you not to touch her? Don't warn, I, I warn you, okay? So she's warning the dog there, which means she's not even scared of animals. So therefore, um, Omakaius knows not to bother Otello, to stay on her good side anyway. All right, boys and girls, our last part of that sentence stem, 
uh, Omakaius and Old Tello have a good relationship. So, so remember I said our so usually matches our because. So they have a good relationship because she is kind to her. So let's think about what can we say here that would correlate with what we said earlier. Old Micaiah and Old Taylor have a good relationship. So what we what would we put there? So, okay, right. That's a good answer, boys and girls. So she feels comfortable around her. Great answer there. All right, she feels comfortable around her. And then we have our text evidence. I'm gonna let you go through and search to see what evidence you can find to support that, okay? You did a great job. Let's see our anticipated response. Okay. Omakaius and Old Taylor have a good relationship, so she feels very safe when she is with Old Taylor. In the text, it states, You, Booney, leave her alone. Tut tut, you die. That's when she's talking to the yellow dog. She's not afraid of a dog. She's not afraid to tackle a bear down. I mean, what doesn't this fragile old woman like? She has no fear. Okay, have no fear. Old Taylor is here. So boys and girls, we now see more about their relationship. All right, so we have read pages 24 through 26. And now that we have read, we're going to do some sentence expansion. Now the last time we did a kernel sentence using our TWR, but this is actually a, a full sentence here. She walks slowly. So we wanna say who, what, when, why? And then we want to write a full expanded sentence there, okay? So let's do it together. I'll take some answers from you guys. Who walked slowly when they were on their way home? That's correct. You got it right. I'm Achaeus. I'm Achaeus. I told you sometimes we get a name tripped up. <laughs> yes, I'm Achaeus is our who. What did she do? Okay, so here's our she, and then walk slowly. Walked back home. Slowly. Okay, when, where can we say when? As she was on her way, and boys and girls, we don't have our lines here. Let's put our lines here for our writing. Miss Star, sorry about that. Okay, that's what I love about our board. Okay, so that makes that look better, okay? It gives you some space to write. When on her way from retrieving the scissors okay why why did she walk slowly let's think why did she walk slowly hmm is it because she didn't want to do chores is it because she was upset with angeline okay let's think about that okay and we know her sister had hurt her feelings and made her upset Okay, just like the book says, they usually play together, but sometimes Angeline could be pretty mean to Omakaya. So let's put that in there. Why? Because she was upset with her sister. And we can even use an appositive. Let's go ahead and introduce an appositive. An appositive is when you have two words right by each other, but they're split in the middle with a comma. So check this out. Her sister, comma, Angeline. Okay? Now, when we write our expanded sentence, let's see what we wind up getting, boys and girls. Omakis walk home slowly. 
on the way back from Otalo's house because she was upset with her sister Angeline when her sister Angeline laughed at her, okay? There's more about our positive. Here's our expanded sentence. When we put it together, okay? So we wanna number it. Sometimes it's easier to start the sentence off with when. So that's why we started it here, okay? On the way back from Old Tello's house, comma, Omakius. So Omakius would have been our what? Number two, walked home slowly. So that's our three when we put that together because she was upset that her sister Angeline laughed at her. So that's number four. So it's sort of like how we did that scrambled sentence. And what we did was we put it together and made our expanded sentence. Okay, boys and girls. And remember what I said about that, a positive, her sister, comma, Angeline. All right, so as we're describing our character interactions, let's learn a few things about um, Amakius now as we have read about chapter two. So we talked about her in chapter one. Let's see some growth here. Who does she interact with? She has a good relationship with Old Tello. She envies pretty Angeline, but she does play with the bears, okay? She plays with the bear cubs um, when we read about that. And then how does she show bravery? when she walks to Old Tello's cabin and is courageous in front of the yellow dog, okay? We can also say she shows bravery when she interacts with mother bear. Think about it. She played with the mother bear's little cubs and the mother bear thought she was trying to hurt her cubs. So then Omakias has to think quick and be brave because she doesn't want to be hurt by the big bear claws, okay? So it says she uses wisdom because she did not use the scissors on the mother bear. She was patient and communicated with the bear to calm her. She showed wisdom. She told her, you know, Gain, Gain, I'm not trying to hurt you, bear. I'm not trying to hurt you. I just wanted to play with them. They're my little brothers. But on the bear's side, on the, from the bear's point of view, the bear's thinking, um, you need to stay away from this uh, young little girl, bears. You need to come on. She could be a hunter, okay? So those are just some thoughts there. Boys and girls, we are having an amazing lesson. All right? So as we see, we added old tallow in your reading log. I want you to go and add old tallow in your character section. Think about some things that you could say about old tallow, okay? You could say that she's a tough old lady in the village. Everyone is afraid of her. She's a hunter and she did have a lot of husbands, okay? We learned that from the beginning and she ran them all away, probably because she was a little bitty on the rough edges. All right, so for your homework, boys and girls, I would like for you to do your TWR lesson eight card. Uh, and it has all of this where you're going to put in the correct punctuation. I'll give you just a trial. Uh, you're gonna either use a question mark, a period, or exclamation mark, okay? So make sure, like for instance, Omakaius is upset with Angeline for stepping on her back. Is that a question? No way, Jose. That is just a regular statement. So we're gonna use a what? Period here. So I expect you to do all of that lesson for your homework. And I will be checking it tomorrow, boys and girls. All right? And also make sure by the end of class, you complete your summary template, okay? All right, boys and girls, in this lesson, you read chapter two of The Birch Bark House. You also analyzed Omakaya's relationship with Old Tallow and you completed a graphic organizer. Remember, we had a good day, we had a good day, we had a jolly good day. I hope you have a jolly, you have a jolly, you have a jolly good day. See you later in Starville.